Good morning everyone. Today I'll be sharing with you the reasons why you need to prevent the silent killer diabetes. My name is Lamisha Brown. Did you know that diabetes is the number two causes of death in Jamaica? Yes it is. My grandmother is just 67 years of age and she currently suffer, suffers from this silent killer disease, diabetes. She currently has renal failure, stage five. She has to be on dialysis because of this diabetes. Think about the impact that diabetes can have on our family. She currently has to take 12 tablets per day. She currently has to do dialysis two times per week, which costs $24,000 per week. And the thing is, she doesn't have an, a, a critical illness plan or an insurance plan which helps to alleviate all of these costs, right? So today I'm urging you to prevent the silent killer of diabetes. Prevent diabetes. That screen tests up to date. Let me tell you what diabetes is really about. Diabetes is the number two cause of death in Jamaica. The Diabetes Association of Jamaica conducted a survey in 1993 by the outreach program stated 200,000 Jamaicans over the age of 15 suffers from the silent killer diabetes. In 2001, 327,000 with an aging population suggested that it has increased. Think about it, a person like me who have the experience of my grandmother being plagued by this deadly disease. What I will share with you are risk factors of this disease, such as your family history. So if you're of African descent, you're more, more prone to this silent killer, as I refer to as a diabetes. Your dietary, dietary, whatever you eat, so your pork, your chicken, eat most of vegetables if you can, foods, change your diet your weight you need to wash your weight so if you're overweight you need to get exercising lose some of the weight as this contributes to the silent killer in activity so you know some persons who work and sit down all day we don't do anything like me who sits at a desk for eight hours per day what do i do i exercise in the morning your family history unlike me my family is prone to this disease so i have to watch what i do so think about it find out if your family history has diabetes your race as african descent and your age the older you get the more prone you are to diabetes i want to discuss with you the effects of the silent killer diabetes damage to the eye Dam diabetes damage the tiny blood vessels within the eye due to the high levels of sugar, which leads to blindness. Damage to the kidney. Damage to your kidney will also sometimes cause retinal failure, as I discussed with you about my grandma. Damage to the nerves. So sometimes persons will get shaky after a while, sexual problems. Damage to your arteries so you can get heart attack. Strokes, diabetes affect the heart, high blood pressure and cholesterol that increase the risk of having a stroke. And I want to share with you also the signs of diabetes. It, if you notice that you're increasing tears, frequently to urinate, fatigue, blur vision, these are the signs of diabetes. No, I want to discuss with you how to prevent this deadly disease.
failing and stay active as i always say it means you need to eat properly you need to balance it with some exercise now you need to limit your red meat such as fish pork etc choose not whole grains and fish instead choose good fats instead of bad fat found good fat is found in nuts for example choose water over sugary drinks right how to prevent it continues. Control your weight. So, you know, if you notice that you're getting overweight, you need to control your weight. Get moving and exercise. Have a balanced diet which involves vegetables. Remember, we have to prevent the silent killer diabetes as it is taking over our lives. As I said before, I have my grandmother suffering from this disease. Right now, she's not even able to assist herself because of this disease. Her heart, there's fluid around it, her lungs also, and as I've explained to you, retinal failure, retinal failure stage five, where she has to do dialysis two times per week. And trust me, that is at $100,000 per month. That doesn't include even her dietary needs or her caregiver needs. So I'm urging you guys to prevent yourself from having this disease. Get regular screening. Diabetes increase your chance of getting a heart attack, strokes, problems with your kidney, eyes and feet and nerves. So if you have diabetes and you, there's a cut on your leg and your leg needs to be amputated, what are you going to do? You're going to say, if we didn't know, as we always say at the end of everything, eat properly and exercise. Now, remember your health is your wealth. Remember prevention is better than cure. And remember there is no cure for a silent killer like diabetes. Remember, eat properly, exercise, get regular testing, Act now. We can prevent diabetes together if we only take control of our lives. I urge you guys to protect yourself, prevent yourself and your loved ones from suffering from this silent killer, diabetes. As I am here to encourage you all to prevent this disease, diabetes.